All right, what's up, guys? It's the Mighty Zing Fate 500 here with another episode of Let's Play Fatal Frame Maidens of the Blackwater. Now, in the last episode, you guys may remember, we went to find Miyu Hinasaki, had to go through a bunch of puzzles to solve another puzzle to solve another puzzle, and then we had to make it down through the mountain after getting chased by the Maiden of the Blackwater, which is, I assume, who that is. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and, and in this episode, we're gonna be playing as Yuri again, but this time we're gonna try and find Hisoka Kurosawa, and this is a rather short chapter, so. Uh, Yuri finds Miyu in the Shrine of the Ephemeral, but not Hisoka. Yuri's final hope is to follow the river upstream from where she found the Camera Obscura to its source, the Lake of the Departed. Should be good with what we're given here. Yuri managed to rescue Miyu from the Shrine of the Inferior, but obtained no new information about Hisoka. The only clues she has are a photograph found in the Camera Obscura and the visions she saw when she touched Hisoka's charm. These lead Yuri to believe Hisoka is somewhere upstream. Clinging to this last hope of finding her friend, Yuri head towards the Lake of the Departed, located on Mount Hikami's summit. Alright. Well, let's do that then. I found Miyu, but I've made no progress with finding Hisoka. This is all I've got to go on. This photo and the vision I saw when I touched Hisoka's charm. She was standing in water. There's a lake on the summit of Mount Hikami. It's called the Lake of the Departed. Hisoka might be there. Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, shiny? No, oh, there is a shiny. It's probably just like some more healing items. Or some ammo. Whatever. Type 14 film. Times 24. And as I mentioned in the last episode, we're going to be pretty much drenched this entire episode. So there's going to be a lot more... It, it can force a lot of ghost fights on you, along with a lot of uh, ghost hands when you're trying to pick up items. It can be a little annoying, but we'll deal with it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the ghosts do more damage to you when you have your meters full like that. Hisoka Kurosawa. Is there anything down that way? Huh. Don't want to go that way. You know, you'd think you would actually be able to explore. Um, like, you know, maybe go to an alternate path or something. But actually, there's a lot of invisible walls in this game that'll tell you, hey, turn around, this is not where you need to go. Before we go down that way, there is a shiny that I want to pick up here. Some more film. Type 90 is always appreciated. Alright, so let's go down this way here. Aw, oh, man. We gotta fight a priest. Stay away from me and you and your porch. I see you, you stupid horse, but I'm just gonna blow it away the instant you said now. He's very quick, so we didn't get to see that attack last time, but I knew he could do that. He basically will lunge at you very quickly, and it does a lot of damage if it hits you. So you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, it's just fatal glancing to get some uh, points. Right? back on to what we were doing, trying to find Hisoka. To the Forbidden Valley. A little off topic, but you guys won't believe it. I've actually almost finished my review for my newest game. The, the newest review I have for you guys. Uh, all that's left is to do a little bit more editing and I'll be done. So I'm hoping within the next week I'm going to have it finished. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. <laughs> but anyways, back on topic. Fatal Frame. Creepy stuff. Okay. So uh, it's possible that we might run into a certain ghost I've been talking about several times in several episodes. Last time she popped up right here. Huh. 
Nope, guess you didn't decide not to pop up today. Just walk around here. There's a bunch of items littered all throughout this place here. We may not run into her, who knows? I would like to see her just because she's really freaking creepy. And it's not her. Yeah. You're dead. Get wrecked. Alright, let's move over this way. Slowly but surely. Up, oh, up, oh, there she is. There she is. This lady's creepy as hell, and she hits harder than any boss I've fought so far. Look at her face. Do not get hit by her. It is very bad. You hear how she's laughing at us? Oh my god, this thing is so creepy. But the only thing is she's very slow and predictable. Look at that face. Look at that face. Stay away from me. As I mentioned before, if you guys remember, do not stand near her when she dies. That right there is the reason why. See, look, I just I wanted to get hit by that to show you. Look how much damage she does when she hits you. And you cannot fatal glance her. But yeah, that was a good... I really wanted to show you. That's ridiculous. One hit does that. So, be wary when dealing with her. Okay, so moving on. I wish you could Fatal Glancer, but you can't, unfortunately. And, you know, just to um, show you here, I don't think I showed you guys her ghost list. Um... Oh yeah, we're pretty much caught up, so I can show you everything now. So, um... We have all these ghosts here, the alive versions and the dead versions. Which is pretty interesting. Um, you guys haven't seen the old woman in black, so ignore that. I'm actually looking for... Where is that tall... It's just, it's just called Tall Woman, I think. Yeah, Tall Woman. A spirit on Mount Hikami. Her unusual appearance has caused her to become popular among occultists. So it's like, huh, I wonder, I wonder what she has to do with anything. Some dolls, Irene Uno, a child who was taken by the Shrine of Dolls. You know, we'll look through all that later on. Uh, once we beat the game, I'll, I'll just go through all the whole entire list. Um, but, you know, I promised you guys we were actually going to look at our notes last time. Uh, not these, we've actually, we know everything those say. Um, these here, Mahi Kami Cable Car. This, the cable car was introduced in the hopes it would increase the number of tourists. There are three stops on the line, Mikumori, the Unfathomable Forest, and the Shrine of the Inferial. Soon after it was opened, a huge landslide hit it, and it had to be shut down. The tourists stopped coming, and the line never reopened. Some claim the construction work, which involved leveling part of the mountain and cutting a route through the forest, desecrated the sacred ground and brought a curse upon the line. Nowadays, fans of the occult, attracted by rumors of ghosts seen in the empty carriages or eerie silhouette, silhouettes of people glimpsed in the forest by the rail track, come to take photos of the abandoned train. Ikami Tunnel A tunnel constructed as part of the project to make the mountain a tourist spot. It was supposed to go to the Twilight Peak on the summit. As the tunnel was being dug, the construction workers broke through the wound cavern and the tunnel flooded. None of the workers survived. Work on the tunnel resumed, but the development plans for the mountain were abandoned and the tunnel was never completed. A road goes up to its eastern, uh, up to its eastern exit, but it has been closed due to a number of trespassers who have either died or have gone missing in the, around the tunnel. There may still be a way to get in, get to the tunnel from into, uh, get from the tunnel into the wound cavern. But the locals warn that ghosts of the accident vic accidental vent. <laughs> Accident victims and of Shrine Maidens await any who try to find it, which we saw was true. Shrine of the Ephemeral. 
a large shrine near the summit of Mount Hikami. It is thought to have been the main shrine of the local faith, but little is known about it. In the brief period the mountain was visited by tourists, the shrine doors stood open, and people could admire the countless lanterns in the main hall. The shrine was abandoned after the closure of the cable line. Remains of shrine main, remains of shrine mains are said to be found in the inner rooms. Some say if one passes the shrine on a foggy day, the lanterns will be lit and a maiden of black water will be waiting. Forbidden Valley A valley near the, mount, the, su uh, the summit of Mount Hikami, which houses an ancient cemetery. It has been left undisputed, uh, undisturbed until the land developers decided to create a path to the summit for the tourists. The only way through the for Forbidden Valley. A massive landslide flooded the valley, destroying the path. The graves were once exhumed in an attempt to establish who was buried, but no bodies were found. It is thought the graves were erected in memory of people who do not have remains. Another theory is that the graves were for the shrine maidens who were sacrificed to the mountains. Twilight Peak An area on la of land on top of Mount Hikami, covered in volcanic rock. It is a desolate landscape, devoid of vegetation due to volatile gases escaping from the rocks. Locals felt it looked like the underworld, and along with the Lake of the Departed, it was considered to be connected to the netherworld. Locals believed it is, sacred, it is a sacred place. A sacrificial mound erected over a pile of caskets can be found there, as well as the rear shrine of dolls, with dolls much older than those from the main shrine of dolls, located further down the mountain. So it just tells us that that's been going on for a very, very long time. I wonder what's over this way. It looks like some shinies. Tis the season for some items. Type 61. Alright, I'll take that. It's like a annoying maze. And of course, we get jumped by two priests who are painting ass, as usual. But let's just take them down one at a time here. Uh... I'm not sure what just happened there. That was really weird. He like waved his torch at me. Shut up. Shut up. Where's your homeboy at? Shut her chance. Get out of my face. Where is he at? He's all the way over there. Did I kill his buddy? No, I couldn't have. Whoop, took care of that guy. I think. Yep, they're dead. Alright, you know what's over here? My map actually is not filled in over this way, so what is over here? Any shinies? Oh! The leopardy dude. Isn't he just the cutest thing you've ever done seen? Look at him. His nappy hair and face only a mother could love. Oh, you son of a bitch! Huh. That was interesting. Like charged at me, and I couldn't really react in time to that. Look at that nose. What a nose on this guy. Wow! Seriously, dude. Get off of me. That's that barely gives you much chance to react there. Huh. Okay. Sorry I made fun of your nose there, buddy. What is he doing? What is this? Again! Dude, you... Why can I not get this guy? Fatal frame. It's just... It's so quick. Like, the legitimate first actual fatal frame that is kind of hard to get because of how quick he moves me. Mmm! Oops. Smashing button. Does not help. Okay. Jeez Louise. They did not like me talking trash about his nose. Oh, this pretty much just warped back around. I, I was just curious. 
Because it wasn't filled out on my map. Alright, well, let's head on down here. Creepy, creepy. Oh, look, there's something over there. Ammo. It's like in Resident Evil, people just leaving am like, and gun ammunition, and gun, eh. Gun ammunition everywhere. Well, in Japan, people leave film everywhere. Spiritual film. Oh no! No! I just dealt with you. Why? I, I really don't want to deal with you again. You can't walk onto this guy for whatever reason. Which is alright. Come on! Oh my, I swear to god! I hit that freaking button on time! That's, I even hit it preemptively and it still didn't do jack! Ugh, what a freaking nuisance this thing is. Oh, you son of a hoe bag! I am not pleased. <laughs> Like, you have to be really quick on that guy. Holy crap. Looks like there's some more shiny somewhere. Shiny? Over here? Nope. Shiny? Ah, oh, more herbal medicine. My herbal medicine. Alright. Let's keep on going forward here. We're actually almost out of the water. Thank God. Some more ammo. No, no, wait. It's a page. It's a journal. It appears she came this way after all. Beyond the Forbidden Valley is the sacred ground at the summit, the Twilight Peak, and the Lake of the Departed. If she has the ability, it's possible she was led there. Or perhaps I'm the one who's being called to that place. That makes a lovely noise, doesn't it? To the Twilight Peak. Alright. We're getting pretty close to, uh, actually getting pretty close to the end here. Uh, let's get rid of these notes here so it doesn't say new anymore. Ah oh, man! I'm just ignoring you, kid. I, uh, oh, no... Oh, I thought I had to fight them. I was like, no, I don't want to fight. Oh, I hate those kids. Huh, wants us to go down this way. Nope, you can kiss my ass. I fought you like every damn time. Not doing it this time. Pain in my ass.
shall become a pillar as well. Oh shit. Gotcha. Out of that box. Man, you gotta be. I don't really know what happens. I'm kind of curious what happens if you. Well, the first time I did that, she actually like I missed that shot, and she like swoops back and forth until she gets really close, and I and she tries to shut the box. I'm really curious what happens if she shuts the box. I may have to replay this level just to see it. What? 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 Why did I get put back in the box? Get out of my face, old lady. Okay. I messed that one up. She's gotta be almost dead. Ah, fudge monkeys. Nah, she's, she's getting there. Oh, you listen here, lady. Oh, and she corrupted me. <laughs> Damn it. Shut up. Oh, my freaking reload time. Awesome. Stupid old lady. Stop saying cock. Shut up. Man, she's got a ton of health. Gotcha. Cock that. I did not have that much trouble with her the first time. And you cannot fatal glance her. I have tried. It does not work. I mean, you don't even get the move, so. Black Diary 1. We must forge more pillars. The great pillar is collapsing. The black water will overflow. The black water must be contained before the great pillar melts away. I became a shrine maiden after I survived that flood. I was half dead when I awoke, alone amongst the corpses. I could see things, things that no one else could see. That was my calling. I purified my body, and when I arrived at the mountain, I was overwhelmed with a cacophony of voices. The tree, talking trees, the whispering stones, the weeping water, echoes of past prayers piled up on one on top of the other. Time slowed to a crawl, and I could see each individual raindrop that fell. The veins on every leaf stood out vividly. Images of death flashed in front of me. I could smell the choking stench of death. I was told I would need more training. I wanted to flee as soon as I arrived, but I had no home to run away to. No matter where I go, it will be the same. In the end, I will be all alone. And we got the blow lens, which is actually what I've been using this entire time. Um, it's very nice. It's quite powerful. You can upgrade it all the way like I have to reduce the amount of energy that it takes to use it. So, you know, it doesn't increase the damage, just... Well, good for you, but I'm not being a pillar, so... Feck off, crow. Alright. Anyways, I was saying, um... Yeah, it's, it's a really, really good... Uh, lens. Quite like it. Let's see, it says notes updated, but yeah, it's not going to show us what has been updated. 
At this point, we've read everything that has been Hisoka! Get back here, Hisoka. Do not leave us. Do not go towards that gate of hell. I'd rather not. All right, so for this lady, uh, again, we cannot win against her. So your really only option is to run away. But where do you run to? Well, oh shit. I, I goofed that up. That was on me there. Run away. You kind of kind of stop running. She actually killed me there. Uh, when she pops up in front of you, stop running and go the other way. You gotta be kind of quick about it because if you touch her even once, you're 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 dead meat. If she touches you, it's, I just use my only mirror stone. So if she touches me, I'm pretty fudged. Okay, there we go. It's the beach from before. Have I lost her? I should leave here and get away from the mountain right now. Yeah, you should probably stay away from the mountain forever. Yuri followed Hisoka's trace to the shore of the Lake of the Departed, where it vanished into the mist. In her place, a woman appeared, the same dark presence seen in Hisoka's photograph. Unable to inflict any damage with the camera obscura, Yuri's only option was to run. Yuri recalled the outline of a large tori gate over the mystery, misty lake. Could that where, be where Hisoka was headed? Who knows? We got a B rank. Not bad. Clear time. It... I don't, Okay, I'm gonna guess the clear time in this game, the timer it actually says, does not include any time you spend um, in menus and watching cutscenes. Because the actual recording that we've been doing is almost about 30 minutes. So that's 13 minutes the game is not calculating something. I'm not entirely sure. Could be wrong with that, but it, I mean, that seemed logical. Um, so anyways guys, next episode we're actually gonna pick up on the eighth chapter. I have not done this. This will be completely new to me. So we're gonna have some fun with that. Uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it so far and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So next time, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so hope you guys have a good one. Take care.